Welcome to the Ninja X Show. Today's topic, rare and hard to find games. Yeah, um, so I was looking through my game collection and I figured, hmm, maybe I should talk about this, you know? Because <laughs> I know there's gamers out there who, you know, would like to know about some of the rare games that are hard to find, so here's what I've come up with. On eBay, this game right here cost 80 bucks, and I bought it for 3 bucks at a thrift store. It's Power Stone 2 for the Dreamcast, and it's an amazing game. Up next is... Splatterhouse for the PC. Now, this game, I bought it on eBay for 11 bucks, but I'm pretty sure it's worth more than that due to how rare it is. Um, my guess, it's worth 300 or more. Um, it's a perfect port of the arcade version of this game. And, um, you know, I played it and I had to do something on my computer in order to get it to work, but yes, I was able to play it, you know? And even though I couldn't understand the Japanese and the options menu, I was still able to get this game to play. And that was difficult, but I was able to get it to work, so yeah. It's a great game to have. You know, even though I already have the arcade version of this game in my Splatterhouse game for the Xbox 360, I still prefer playing this on the keyboard, you know, because it's easier to play as Rip, you know, going through the obstacles in that game. So, there you go. Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage. Now, yes, I know this game is very common, but how common is the red cartridges? Yes, this version is the red cartridge one. There's also a black cartridge um, version of this game, but the red one, I think, is a little hard to come by. I'm not completely sure, but if it's rarer than what, you know, they produce, then, yeah, um, I'm lucky to have a red cartridge instead of a black cartridge version of this game. Anyways, on to the next item, which is... The Game Shark Pro for the N64 version 3.3. Yes, this is very hard to come by and um, it has this thing on the back which I assume connects to the PC. But anyways, yeah, you, all you do is just add in codes and it works fine, you know. And that's what I love about this accessory because, you know, it allows you to do things that you can't normally do on the video game. And that's what I love about this. But, I barely play my Nintendo 64 anymore, so why would I use it? Well, there are some games that are harder to beat, like with 100% completion with Zelda or Super Mario 64. That's what this thing's for. You know, it unlocks everything. So, there you go. On to the next items, which is... Here are the last two games I'm going to show you. One is the 1989 arcade classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now this is only available for the Xbox 360 exclusively. I couldn't find it on 
PlayStation 3, and I'm guessing the reason why that is because the 360 came out first, so they released it there first, so. The other game is Turtles in Time, which I have for both the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Don't ask me why I bought it for both systems, I just did. Just like I did with uh, Out of the Shadows. So, with that said, these games, you know, I've, uh, I've enjoyed playing them, you know, because I love the Ninja Turtle games, you know. But a lot of people bashed on Turtles in Time, you know, because it's not like the original or it's not like the Super Nintendo version, but I strongly disagree with them, you know. The, this game is actually fun, and the music's better, and the graphics are amazing, so where they complain, I appreciate, you know, what they did with this game, so it sucks that they don't have these two games on uh, either the Xbox 360 or the PS3 anymore because, you know, Ubisoft lost the license to it, and um, I guess this is because Nickelodeon ended up buying the Ninja Turtles franchise, so yeah, that's bound to screw Ubisoft over, so there you go. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Till next time, say no to drugs.